With the MSI Claw totally getting obliterated by reviewers across the globe for its piss-poor performance and stuttery gameplay, the ROG Ally is getting a little too much attention, with people calling it the best Windows handheld out there. And fairly so, because if you look at the price points and the gaming value we're getting from the ROG Ally, it's pretty decent at the moment, but that doesn't mean it's free from flaws, because there have been major issues that have flooded Asus help forums, where people are complaining that their games are working at very low FPS, but the counters are showing higher FPS, and it's reached a point where the games are almost unplayable. What is causing this? What is this issue? We're going to explore everything in this video. If you recently updated your Asus ROG Ally handheld gaming PC and are now experiencing low FPS and performance issues in your games, you're not alone. Many users have reported FPS drops and stuttering after installing the latest Armory Crate software and AMD driver updates. Luckily, there are some steps you can take to resolve the problem and get your ROG Ally running smoothly again. Follow this step-by-step -step guide to fix the low FPS issue. Let's solve the problem first, and then we will try to figure out the culprit so Asus can fix this in the future. Let's begin. To address the low FPS issue encountered by ROG Ally users, following updates to Armory Crate, AMD drivers, and BIOS, a series of troubleshooting steps have been shared and proven effective within the community. Initially, a straightforward approach involves accessing the task manager to terminate the AMD software task, a method that has offered a quick fix for several users. However, should this step not fully rectify the problem, it's recommended to proceed by disabling the in-game overlay feature within the AMD software, which has been identified as a culprit in causing FPS drops without necessitating the recurrent ending of the task. Further exploration into the root of the problem has revealed that updates might inadvertently disable the GPU, despite it appearing enabled within system settings. In such cases, navigating to the device manager to manually disable and then re-enable the video card can restore functionality. Additionally, some users have experienced relief by removing recent Windows updates, suggesting a potential conflict between the latest system updates and optimal gaming performance. For those particularly tech-savvy, rolling back the BIOS to a previous version, such as 336, has also been a viable solution, albeit with a cautionary note due to its technical nature. Moreover, a subset of users pinpointed the issue to compatibility packs for OpenGL, Vulkan, DirectX, available through the Microsoft Store. The removal of these packs has been another effective measure in overcoming the FPS challenges. Each of these steps derive from user experiences and solutions within the ROG Ally community, outlines a comprehensive approach to diagnosing and resolving the performance issues encountered, ensuring a smoother gaming experience post-update. Your problem will likely be fixed just by closing the Adrenaline app, but let's try to decipher why the heck this happens every time either Windows updates or Asus updates its drivers. What's going on here? Why is Asus so hell-bent on delivering the drivers by itself? Why can't it let AMD directly push the drivers directly onto the machine? Well, the short answer is, the ROG Ally is not a generic PC or laptop. It's a customized device that requires tweaks before drivers can be applied to this device. Hence, Asus holds control over the drivers. This time, the culprit is the AMD Adrenaline software, particularly its in-game overlay feature. This software, when running, appears to significantly impact the gaming performance on ROG Ally devices. Some users have identified that recent Windows updates and BIOS updates could be contributing to the issue. These updates may introduce compatibility problems or performance issues not present in earlier versions. What Asus should do to mitigate the effects of these kinds of problems? It's a pretty basic thing, yet this problem has been going around for a very long time, like a week or so but there was no official confirmation from the ROG Ally team. Open and timely communication about known issues, potential workarounds, and upcoming fixes can greatly alleviate user frustration. Keeping users informed can also prevent them from making system changes that could exacerbate the issues. AMD could work on ensuring that their drivers are fully compatible with ASUS hardware before release. 
This might involve closer collaboration between the two companies to ensure that driver updates are optimized for Asus laptops and do not interfere with other software like the Armory Crate. Implementing a system to gather and analyze user feedback more effectively after updates can help identify and address issues more rapidly. This could include dedicated forums, more responsive customer support channels, and tools within the software to report problems directly. For users who experience issues after an update, providing clear instructions and tools to safely roll back drivers or BIOS versions to a stable state can be a temporary but immediate relief. And most importantly, before releasing software updates, especially ones as critical as graphics drivers, BIOS updates, or utility software like Armory Crate, Asus and AMD should invest in more comprehensive testing. This includes testing on various hardware configurations to ensure compatibility and performance stability across a wide range of systems. And we hope this short tutorial on fixing the FPS problem might have helped you. This brings us to the end of the episode, and if you liked what you see here, please drop a sub. Have a good one and take good care of yourself.